Here we go, folks. Welcome back to the Bootleg Studios of Rant Social. And in this episode, I'm going to break down how T.O. Uh, T.O. Owens, former NFL uh, wide receiver from, from multiple teams, NFL Hall of Famer. Uh, he's an alumni of the Apprentice Show with Donald Trump. And he is resorted to arguing with a with a woman in his uh community he lives in a hoa homeowners association community and i grew up living in a co-op building where they had a board they had a community board and i could tell you from gated communities to co-ops to even certain areas uh where they have uh condos it's always a headache when you're dealing with a board. I don't care how fancy your house is. If you live in one of these gated communities, you are being controlled, watched, <laughs> talked about. Uh, people are in your business for no good reason. And this is a classic example of this. Now, once again, uh, this didn't have to be a racial issue. All right. Uh, she made it a racial issue. And he responded uh, like a sensitive Negro. She being the woman here who called the police on Terrell Owens, a.k.a. T.O. Now, this is a guy who's been spoiled. He's a spoiled athlete. I'm not saying he didn't work hard. He's genetically gifted. All right. So any work you put in that area uh, when you're genetically gifted like that, it's going to be easier for him to excel than some others. But anyway, I'm not saying that's an excuse for him excelling. But I'm saying he's a spoiled Negro. Okay, he don't, I don't know if, he, if he's ever had to work a normal job. Maybe he has in college because he wasn't a, a he didn't go to a big D1 school. But anyway, let's play it and I'm going to talk on it. So let's get into it. Oh man, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Yes, all right, we are live. We are live and we got the police and everything. We got the police. He can't wait to start to get on Instagram live and start crying. Police and everything. I'm driving to my mailbox. She telling me I'm speeding, telling me to slow down. First of all, I didn't harass you. She telling me to slow down. I said, what do you mean slow down? I said, yo, I'm just going to the mailbox. And then she goes, get the fuck out of the middle of the road. First of all, I didn't almost hit you. Now you're just making up stuff. Just like a Karen. I did, how did I almost hit you? And I'm going. Now, there's the first racial reference that I've heard. Terrell Owens calling his uh, neighbor, who's apparently a white woman. And we don't even know her background. See, America... And Europe started playing this race game and this color coding game where me as a quote unquote black man, my skin is actually brown. And somebody whose skin is a little lighter than mine, they'll call Hispanic and call him a brown man. Uh, they'll call the Asian man the yellow man. You see how uh, these color codes now have been ingrained into our society and into our psyche and People reach for these color codes for no reason when you just have a normal human interaction. All right, let's continue. Went to the mailbox. Yeah, I called your Karen when I came over here after you said I called the police. Absolutely. He called her Karen, a.k.a. a white woman bigot. Then you, then you went on to say, oh, I'm the, the subject of the HO meeting. This, that, this. I don't throw that word race, racist around easily. Because you have to be in a position to oppress someone to be a racist. And most people are not in a, posi not in a position to oppress people. You can be bigot. Bigot or bigoted. You can be 
uh, 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 you can show favoritism. You can, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, uh, it'll come to me, but uh, to be a racist, you have to be in a position to oppress someone of another so-called race. Y'all, I got liens and shit on my house. This and that, the other. You can discriminate. That's the word I was looking for. You start bringing up my status, who I was, my HBO, my VH1. You the one brought it up, lady. I did it. See here, he's talking about his neighbor bringing up his HOA status, what, what uh, fees he might still owe the community, so on and so forth. Now, this this man is a millionaire, I, I presume still, and has multiple residences. This is just one of his houses. So yeah, if you're not on, on your P's and Q's and you don't have an assistant checking you know, all your business, certain things can lag behind. You might forget to pay a fine or forget to pay whatever, you know, their little homeowners association fee because you're not there all the time. You did. First of all, first, first of all, I didn't almost hit her. Oh, no, no, I'm fine, sir. I, first of all, I didn't almost hit her. I understand that. But she left. I'm not going to sit up here. He ran a stop sign. Well, there is no stop sign. What are you talking about? Now, she's very bold to ask a man driving 10 o'clock at night while she's on a bicycle to slow down. But this, to me, is more of a, a female issue in today's society than a racial issue. Because uh, certain females have gotten too big for their britches. Why? Because they can easily pick up a phone and call the police. Men to come and rescue them, for the most part. Um, and... You feel so comfortable to be riding your bicycle 10 o'clock at night, and then you're going to start yelling at a man in his car driving. Because you're going to yell at me and tell me I'm almost hit you, and I didn't. But you didn't have to get out of your fucking car. You didn't have to talk to me that way. Now, here she is yelling and cursing in front of the police are already there. But this is something that women get away with. Uh, all women, not just white women, not just so-called Karens, all women get away with this. If, when men, when you come to this, when police arrive at the scene and men is yelling and screaming and cussing, most of the time you're going to be asked to calm down. And then if you still carry on, they're going to throw you to the ground and cuff you. Hey, either. Karen? First of all, you. Okay, this is where she shows her bigot bones. Your, your boy right here, your husband right here. So, first of all, I don't do that type of stuff. Oh, yeah, I, I, first of all, I didn't, I didn't like his response. Come at you. You, can, you can stop all of that. I didn't like his response. She said, you're a black man coming at a white woman. And he says, your husband was there. Yeah, I, here with all of I don't do things like that. What is that? I didn't like that response to you. That was almost a, slave, a, a southern slave-like response. I don't do that type of thing. <laughs> Because you're going to yell at me and tell me I'm almost hit you, and I didn't. But you didn't have to get out of your fucking car. You didn't have to talk to me that way either, Karen. You're a black man, a rookie, a white woman. First of all, you had your, your boy right here, your husband right here. So first of all, I don't do that type of stuff. Oh, yeah, I, 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 first of all, I didn't come at you. You can, you can stop all of that, Karen. Yeah. Now, the police have asked T.O. to calm down several times. Here it is, this woman is still screaming. And she should be put in a squad car at this point. She's still being unruly, late at night, making a bigger scene uh, uh, than necessary because she's still screaming. Remember, it's after 10 o'clock at night. Get out of here with all of that. You guys walking, you're like a <laughs> here she crying. To you people that live in big cities, somebody outside screaming is, is not something uh, <laughs> out of the norm. But when you live in a a... In a housing community where it's homes and, and a community it ain't nobody out there carrying on at night because they'll call the police on you this is unbelievable swear to god i've never been a look at this scene right here she's like <laughs> little red riding hood 
in her bicycle with her basket in the front and her little uh, coffee uh, holder there on the handlebar. And she's taking a nice little cruise 10 o'clock at night and she decides to start screaming at a large man <laughs> who happens to be Negro. Pardon, nothing like here. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. Yes, I've seen it, but this is first hand. <laughs> oh boy, and she's crying. Oh my God, this is this is real. This is real. This is real. Here you go. Here you go, sir. The crying thing. Women always have weaponized their tears. <laughs> I, uh, how many of you guys watched this video of how a woman work up tears on you instantly? Uh, uh. To swing the narrative of whatever is going on in her her favor, to sway whoever arrives on the scene, whether it be bystanders, family members, the police, whoever, she'll work up them tears in an instant. Women always weaponize tears. This is real. This is real. This is real. This is real. I've never seen. It. I've seen it, but I've never been a part of this. This is real life, and now she's crying. Uh, also to sway you, I forgot the most important part of them crying will be to sway you, the person they're crying to. Her husband tried to tell her to go in the house, but now she wanted to do the whole camera thing. So I'm going to be here with my camera to show everything. First of all, you need to stop that. It was not. I was in the garage. You're lying now because I was sitting in the garage. She said I was speak. I know what you're saying. No, no, I guess. No, this is real. This is real life in 20. This just might be a BBC fantasy for this lady here. For those of you who know who know what I'm talking about. This just looks like a, a rape fantasy that this one, <laughs> that this woman is trying to play out. 22. This is real life camera stuff. I've, ne crying. I've never seen I do. I've seen it on 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 TV. I Listen, this guy is used to uh, playing in front of uh, 40,000 to 50,000 people in, in, in stadiums. He's used to Hollywood cameras and, and, and TV sets. All right? He's even been in a, in a movie or two, probably. So, yeah, look at him. This is a big Negro wake-up call for him. A nigga wake-up call. Seen it on video, but I've never really been a part of something like this. This is unbelievable. <laughs> it's unbelievable to you. Because you were a spoiled athlete and get put in a different category, a Negro. Until you're no longer useful, you're not in the NFL anymore, and now you're getting humbled. Then she brought up that I'm the subject of HOA. Said everybody's been talking about me, my my house. I don't keep up with my house. I got liens. I don't pay my fines. Everything. I yeah, that's what people do in gated communities, in co-ops. And in certain condominium uh, communities. This is what they do. I, how do I know? Because she told me. Karen. What's that and a lot of you people living in these type of communities think you're better than other people. <laughs> I'd much rather just live in an independent home than be bothered with all of y'all uh, uh, gated community foolishness. Okay. Close enough. Okay. You got guys. You got... Uh, security officers and gated communities running around like Roscoe Pico train giving out speeding tickets in y'all communities. And y'all pay for it, you fools. So when I drove by, she said she called the police. I was like, cool. I'm going to sit right here till they come. I'm going to sit right here till they come. Yo, she just started crying just now. Oh, when they rolled when they, up. Yeah. But you know, uh, well, I listen. Obviously, again, he doesn't have a normal experience as a quote-unquote black man. Anytime a woman calls the police, you know when they come, she going to start crying or she going to start working up the tears right before they get there. Oh, she's <laughs> What? This is crazy to me. Yo, this is real life, people. I, I, I... Yeah, it's real. Dude, this, this, is, this is unbelievable. I, I, I've never been a part of nothing like this in my life. <laughs> never. Okay. I'm serious. I'm fine. You stood next to Trump. You was on The Apprentice. And you've been reduced to having a woman riding a bicycle uh, uh, embarrass you 
and you want to film it just so the police don't brutalize you. You're not stupid. This is why you go, you went to IG Live. You knew the kind of danger you was in, all right? And, and if they didn't recognize you as being the great Terrell Owens NFL Hall of Famer. And I made you cry. Bro, she just brought them tears out. She just brought those tears out. Before he got, before she got here, she was, it was fuck you, this, fuck you, that, everything. Oh, yeah. Before I got here, it was all of that. The police showed up. Oh, they, the, the, the tears started flowing. And this is one of the problems of today's feminist America. Okay, you have 140 pound, 40 pound women cussing out 200 pound men. And then when they feel like their life is in danger, as they should feel, they can just pick up the phone and call the police. Oh, man, it's all good. But men, on the other hand, would not go around picking fights with guys 100 pounds bigger than they are. First of all, she said, I said I wasn't speeding. And then they're going to tell me. But she don't have no speed. No, 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 no. I got it. But she said, we didn't say you were speeding. We told you you need to slow down. So what does that mean? If you're telling me I'm, I need to slow down, that means I was speeding. And I must say this. There are a couple of cultural differences between so-called whites and so-called blacks. And one of them is how we perceive uh, insults, verbal insults, okay? I've observed that in the white community, they are much more tolerant of verbal insults. Y'all children can cuss you out. Not all white people, but a lot of y'all. Y'all children can cuss you out, slam doors in your house, you know, uh, uh, tell you to go fuck yourself. And that's kind of like normalized, where that wouldn't fly in a black home. If you go around slamming doors and telling your mother or father, oh, fuck yourself, or fuck this and fuck that, and this is not fucking fair, you're going to get your ass whooped or slapped, or they're going to tell you to get the fuck out. They might just throw you out. Right? So then she said, I went after her, and I was like, no, I came over here because you said you was calling 911. You was calling the police. I'm like, all right, cool. So I said that to say she's out there cussing and screaming at a, at a man 10 o'clock at night, how the two cultures perceive verbal uh, insults and threats, we handle it two different ways. For some reason, black people are way more sensitive to verbal threats and, and, and verbal taunts, and they're willing to fight and die, go to jail over you saying something to them, all right? So this is why he's so freaked out and upset, because he couldn't just take that, whatever she had to say, Tell her, whatever, mind your business and go back inside his house. No, he had to go on IG Live, stand out there, and make a scene himself. I'm going to sit right here and wait till the police come. I'll talk, I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk to uh, George Lopez since I'm the subject, whoever the HO is. Since I'm the subject of the meetings, I'm going I'm, I'm to ask him, what, what do I do since I can stop? Of course you would be a subject of the HO meet, or HOA meetings, fool. You're a celebrity and a former NFL uh, Hall of Famer. I don't even, I bar I'm barely even here. And then told me, I'm living in, you, you, you're living in a low-budget neighborhood. Oh, yeah, I live in. What she meant by that was, you're supposed to be a millionaire athlete. What are you doing <laughs> living here? A low-budget neighborhood, but she living in here with me. I'm living in a low-budget neighborhood. But... Oh, this all good. I ain't tripping. She don't know nothing. I... Yeah, she really don't know that just because you, you think we're rich and famous, you don't know how much money we really have in our bank accounts. A lot of this Hollywood entertainment world is just fluff, smoke, and mirrors. I got two houses. I'm not even worried about that. But that's, just, that's how she was coming at me. So when I called her Karen, husband want to tell me, oh, stop. I remember T.O. crying. On, on, on a TV show or news report one time because they had repossessed a couple of his houses because this fool had about five or six houses at one time for no reason, including like two big mansions. You know, uh, I think when he, you know, whatever. But th this guy, yeah. Calling a Karen. Man, I'm not, shit, they thought I was just going to bow down and listen to all that mess. Okay. 
This is this is what we are. This is what we are, America. Well, you did bow down and listen to it. You didn't smack her across the mouth and and knock her husband on the lawn, knock him out on the lawn. Yeah, you did bow down and take it. And she's still screaming at you. With the police there. She's still screaming at you with the police there. Right? Yeah. So then she said I went after her and I was like, no, I came over here because you said you was calling 911. You was calling police. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to sit right here and wait till the police come. I'll talk, I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk to uh, George Lopez since I'm the subject, whoever the HO is. Since I'm the subject of the meeting, I'm going I'm, I'm to ask them, what, what do I to do since I can stop? I don't even, I bar I'm barely even here. What you can do is move. And then told me, I'm living in, you, you, you living in a low budget neighborhood. Oh yeah, I live in a... Yeah, T.O., if I saw you li living next to me, <laughs> if I see you walk out the house across the street from me, I would say, yeah, now I don't, I don't live in a, a, a poor neighborhood by any means. But if I saw you walking out of the house next to mine, I would say, what happened, T.O.? low budget neighborhood but she living in here with me i'm living in a low budget neighborhood but oh this all good i ain't tripping she don't know nothing i got two houses i'm not even worried about that but that's just that's how she was coming at me so when i called her karen husband want to tell me oh stop calling her karen man i'm not they thought i was just gonna bow down and listen to all that mess okay this is this is what we are. This is what we are, America. This is where we are. You just realize that there's people that don't like you because of the color of your skin. You just realizing this, Negro. Then, she, then she, you heard she said I came after her. No, because he was busy planning celebration dances uh, when he caught touchdowns. I came after her. Her husband right there, but I came after her. This is unbelievable. I ain't never seen a real life Karen in life, but this I see one. You ain't never seen a woman lie on a man before. You ain't never seen a woman start some shit with a man before. You ain't never witnessed this, huh? She said I came after her. Come so oh, you just said it. You came after me. But it, it, it's but my reaction was she yelled at me and told me, slow down, you're speaking. Sir, my mailbox is right there. He, in other words, he's saying, who is this <laughs> low level woman? To tell a NFL Hall of Famer to slow down. Who is she to say any damn thing to me? I stopped right there in front of that house. That's where the mailbox was. So how? why am I speeding past the mailbox? If that's where I'm going. Why am I speeding? It's 10 o'clock at night. Why am I speeding to my mailbox? That makes no sense. Listen, what she really wanted T.O. to do is throw her off of that bicycle, rip her clothes off, and rape her right in, right on the street. <laughs> this, this is a rape fantasy that she couldn't play out. She didn't have the guts to go through with it. And then she wants to try to insult me and say I live in a low-budget neighborhood because of who I am, but you living here with me. It's wild, man. I, I told you, when she said she called 911, I just pulled out. I said, okay, cool. I'm going to sit right here and wait on you. Listen, sometimes when people bother you, they really like you. Don't you remember when you was a kid in school and either you would bother a girl because you liked her or a girl would bother you because she liked you? Might even uh, uh, cuss you out or call you something out your name or whatever. Because she really liked you. Or you really liked her. You might have done that to a female. This is all this is. She really wanted T.O. She just didn't know how to express herself. Hey, what's the phone? 
She can show all the footage she wants to. Yeah. Fuck you, fuck you, this. I'm like, okay, cool. Don't you see the choice of words she used? Fuck you, fuck you. She's trying to tell you something, T.O. So, this is what we... Man, this is, hey, hey, this is wild. He said, I never thought in my whole Negro life that this could happen to me. I made it, you see, to the big time. How's this happening to me? My mailbox, yeah, my mailbox, I, it, it can't be about three football fields or so from my, from my door. He had to throw a football reference in there. He said, it can't be about three, four football fields with my front door. Nah, but you heard what she said when I came after her. You heard that yourself, but then I just said it, and she said she didn't say it. She said, I came after her. Really? And then and he wonder why I call her Karen. Quit calling, that's what Karen. Everybody should just start walking around with body cams. You know, body cams should be a regular part of uh, fashion, part of people's clothing now. You know, you just got, especially if you're a male nowadays, you just, you know, you, you, you need that camera footage to back you up, Jack. Come on, man. Like, I don't, I don't do this bro. I be so what? That so what? You ain't never got no trouble. That that don't mean you exempt from from a white woman causing problems with you, starting shit with you, nigga. So for her to come at me like that, that's why I did that. That's why I came over. I'm like, okay, cool. You want to come at me sideways? I'm gonna come at you back sideways. Is this rude? No, no, I, sir. What I, I want. I'm, See, she, uh, he allowed her to totally uh, put him in his feelings and his emotions. And uh, as a man who's over 40 years old, he shouldn't be out there acting this emotional. But he's a spoiled, rich, Negro athlete. I'm not going to get anywhere out of trying to, again, touch her. Her husband was right there whatever. For what? But she's not going to talk to me crazy. And then tell me I'm doing something that I was Now listen, he done heard words from fans. He he needs to stop it. He he's being a bit of a drama king here. He done heard worse from fans in Philadelphia. Been doing, and then get over here and get a reaction. She wasn't doing no crime before you got here. As soon as she started, I guess, giving her side of the story, the, the, the tears came down. Come on, man. This is unreal. I've been here two days. Two days. Well, listen, folks. Nobody goes to jail here. I'm just going to leave it here because he's just going to keep crying a little while longer on IG Live because he never expected anything like this to happen to him. Oh, poor baby. Listen, folks. Uh,. People can start crap with you anywhere you go in life. You could be minding your business. It's how you respond. Okay? You have to uh, respond uh, like an adult and, 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 and think about the consequences of your actions. You know, this fool here is grandstanding because he has celebrity status. You know... Uh, I don't advise any other man, black, white, or whatever, especially a black man, so-called black man in a situation with a so-called white woman, to be standing up there grandstanding uh, when the police come. You stand up there, uh, you keep your hands to your sides, <laughs> or put your hands up, palms up, okay? And uh, you keep your damn mouth shut until the police start asking you questions. This has been Rand Social. Peace.